Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about uh, June 27th, uh, two game LPL slate. So let's dive in real quick. I do want to see the odds real quick. Um, I This is actually my first time uh, going through the slate. Um, I've been busy all day with my son's uh, travel ball tournament. So they won, they won the championship game, and so I'm very happy. Um, I'm a very proud father, um, so hopefully, you know, my son stays interested in that baseball. But anyhow, um, it's a two-game slate, so it's pretty chalky in my opinion. Um, OMG versus LGD, as you see on the screen, and then TT, Thunder Talk versus JD Gaming, JDG. Um Clearly, the second matchup here, JDG should be the big favorite as they are at minus 700 over Thunder Talk. And then the other LPL matchup is basically a toss up, in my opinion. Uh, both, you know, bad teams in OMG and LGD. I know LGD coming off of that huge win over, uh, is it R uh, anyone's legend, I believe? Um, I think it was. I'll check after this. But and then, then OMG has been inconsistent as well. So that's going to be an interesting matchup to predict. But you and I will go through it together. Like I said, this is my first time going through the slate. So hopefully, you know, we can come up with a firm, you know, pretty, pretty good lean at the end of the analysis, uh, my initial analysis rather. So, yeah, let's look at the roster, see if there's any crazy change um, to the starters. OMG, actually, let's look at the second matchup that's more lopsided. JDG is starting the same five. Uh, 369, Kanavi, Agao, and Hope, and missing. And then Thunder Talk is starting the regular five as well. Xiao Shang, Bei Chuan, Yukal, Puff, and Southwind. All right, let's look at the other matchup. OMG is starting Cream in the mid, mid lane um, as they've been uh, here and there. And then Oh, LGD is starting Hai Hi Chow again um, in the mid lane. Yay G, who used to start in the mid lane for LGD, may have been permanently replaced by Hai Chow because LG, LGD had a good win in the last series. So I think I think that's good. I think they're sticking with, you know, the hot guy in Hai Chow. Um, hopefully that can bring, you know, out their win. So I do want to see a few things who they played against. Um, so let's dive into that. So this is the website that I usually go to, the fandom website for LPL to see the scoreboard and the standings. So let's dive into that JDG Thunder Talk matchup. So JDG is clearly undefeated. Here on the standings and then Thunder Talk here is one and two in series and three and four in games. So yeah, I mean Thunder Talk is has not been the worst team um in the in the region, but I do want to see one thing real quick. Okay, Thunder Talk has lost to Victory Five, who's a really good team. They lost to LNG. That's a really good team. And they beat Team WE has been one of the worst teams. So they lost to really good teams. They beat a really good team. So doesn't really tell me about that much. JDG uh, is obviously another really elite. It's, a, it's an elite team. They beat top esports, beat LGD, even though two to one. And they beat EDG two to zero, which is very impressive. And then OMG and Ultra Prime two to one. Um, both teams not too bad. So uh, I give credit to JDG. JDG, I mean, when they hit all cylinders, like in game one against Ultra Prime, I believe, like I never seen. I had I had not seen another LPL team that was that you know would have beaten JDG in that game. Like JDG was so good in that game, one against Ultra Prime uh, last Friday. Um, like nobody could have beat them. Like they were hitting on all cylinders, laning phase, objectives, team fights, you name it. Early game, mid game, late game, 
they were nearly perfect and flawless. But then game two, and this is not the first time this has, has happened to JDG, just even like during the split, I know against OMG that has, they have shown this where in game two, after their really good win game two, they just fall apart for some reason. They just make the dumbest mistakes I mean, like I said, they've been up and down uh, so much at, at times. But then in game three of the series, good thing it's a best of three series where they just come out firing again. So really, I mean, I think they are starting to learn a lesson. I think that's something that they can fix based on their feedback from the coaches and from the observers. Um, so I do think he they will take care of business here against Thunder Talk. I mean... JDG is led by, you know, their jungler in Kanavi. Um, against going up against Beichuan. Beichuan's not bad at all. Like, not a bad jungler. So, actually, there's not that huge of a gap there, I think. But it's I think the gap is in the bottom lane where Hope and Missing have been playing amazing. Uh, whereas Yagao has been okay. 369 has been okay. It's not that impressive to me. So I think um, the bottom lane will be the difference maker uh, in this matchup along with Kanavi. So, yeah, I fully expect JDG to win. Um, but on a two-game slate, you kind of need to take your chances here in, you know, in certain spots. And JDG is due for, like, a letdown game. But, you know, like I said, I think after losing 2-1, to one, I mean, after winning 2-1 to one both games where they looked really, really bad, um, in the in those like losses, so single losses respectively in those uh, respective series, I think JDG is gonna try to you know eventually fix those problems. Um, and against Thunder Talk, I'm not too worried about that. So I, I fully expect JDG to win. All right, the other matchup, like I said, is OMG versus LGD. Um, OMG has lost to ultra prime who's a decent team they lost uh they lost to ra but then they lost to jdg and then they beat lng which was surprising to me um so maybe they're turning the season around um after three losses it could be the case i mean they had tough tough matchups in jdg and then lng the last two series now they're going up against LGD, who hasn't been that great either. So I do want to see where LGD lines up here. LGD has lost to JDG, good team. Lost to Victory 5. Very tough stretch of opponents there. Two of the best teams, elite teams in the, in, in the LPL. And then they beat anyone's legend, right? So, oh man, this is a tough, tough tough call to make um i think anyone's legend was a decent team at that time um and yeah see like they beat invictus gaming today earlier this morning so maybe that was just like an off game for anyone's legend unless we look at the matchup here today and what i think i did think high chow made a difference for lgd but then OMG has lost to Ultra Prime. I mean, when they, if they lost to Rare Adam, that's a little concerning because I think Rare Adam was not that great, did not look that great. And then you know, JDG gives up a thank you. LMG. Bottom lane's not great. LGD have a good bottom lane. All right, it's it's like I said, it's it's gonna be a toss up. Um, Abel and Cold are really good and awesome, and Jin Zhao make a lot of mistakes. I think maybe um, what's their name? Anyone's legend was not really quite ready for. Hai Chao in the mid lane substitution. Maybe they just did not prep enough on the picks and bans against his champion pool. That could have been the case, but I, I do want to see some stats here uh, shortly to see if LG, anything stands out um, for LGD and then OMG here today. 
So technically, OMG has played more games. Is that right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. So one more series for um, OMG. And they play pretty fast. Point seven, seven, no, eight, zero. Point eight, zero. Point eight, zero is pretty good. No, this is CKP. I'm sorry. Point eight, two, point eight, one ish. And LGD has been playing better. I mean, Shadow has been lights out, you know. So I really like Shadow. Um, I think it comes down to if you think Awesome and Jin Zhao can hold their own against Abel and Cold, because I do think Shadow is a better jungler than Aki. And then Hai Chao has shown that they can he can go up against uh you know good mid LPL mid laners. Um, OMG has a better squad in terms of like the players roster wise. Um, but LGD has had a big win against anyone's legend. This is a very tough call to make still after looking at all of these still. Um, it's got to think about what OMG likes to do and what LGD likes to do, right? I do think LGD likes to go. Let me see. LGD, OMG. The ADA, holy cow, Jerry. Okay, well, I'm, uh, only play two games. He's not starting today, so cold is starting. Hi, child. Kill share is low. Huh. Awesome shadow. Damage percentage, awesome. Yeah, I do think awesome has been playing pretty decent. Um, I'm going to have to go LGD, guys. I know their OMG's roster looks sexy, but LGD has been has had better stats and shadow dominant dominating in the jungle, especially. And I was a little concerned about the bottom lane not holding up well against OMG's bottom lane. But Abel and Cold have been all right. But then Awesome and Jin Zhao have been all right as well in their own. So I think as long as Hai Chao does okay against Cream and Fearness should be okay against Shanji as well. I, I like LGD win here today. Were they the underdog? Yeah. I like LGD to win. Um, but like I said, any of these two teams is li alive for GPP purpose, GPP purposes. Um, I was looking at the CKPM earlier um, to see what kind of kill upside these games have. So let's look at that um, before we head out. Um, JD, LGD, and Thunder Talk. All right, JDG, Thunder Talk. That's the first game or second game, I guess. Um, Thunder Talk likes to play a little bit slower, it looks like, but JDG plays very fast. And JDG will probably dictate the pace of the game. If you think they'll win, then the VOD and yes, the odds indicate at, at a sizable, you know, odds. And then OMG LGD is going to be around, like I said, 0 0.80, 0 0.81, 0 0.82 ish. Um, I think LGD, in my opinion, is going to win. Um, but OMG is alive as a favorite. Um, so I think um, from a pricing standpoint, for DFS purposes, I think it's going to be easy to fit in um, JDG and then LGD if you want to, right? Um, but like I said, it's, in terms of kill upside, yeah, I mean, I think JD Gaming is probably going to be a little bit faster because they're going to be dictating the pace against Thunder Talk. 
and then omg lgd should be second i think um but you know they they all like to play fast except for thunder talk so you know anything could happen you mix and match based on your roster construction um yeah like you see jdg has been dominant in jungle which is has been a key for their success so far in the split and then thunder talk and then lgd and omg so jdg thunder talk thunder talk has page one has been all right then lgd definitely over omg so that's another big reason, big factor, you know, for my prediction as to why LGD will win. Um, and then in the laning phase, they're a little bit better as well than OMG. So that's a little surprising to see. But nonetheless, it affirms my prediction that today on this slate, I think JDG should win over Thunder Talk. And then the kill upside should be pretty good for that. Um, bigger, you know, faster than OMG LGD, in my opinion where I think LGD will eventually prevail in the series, um, just based on the stats and based on the bottom lane. I think Awesome has been holding up well again the bottom lane, and I think that's that's going to be the key for LGD's success, and I think it's going to happen today. All right, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Um, I know it's a short video because it's a two-game slate, but you know I'll, I will most likely preview other slates uh, later this week, including the four gamer Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, so it should be a good one, good week, um, full of League of Legends DFS. It's an exciting time. And if you guys have any questions, please uh, reach out at DFS Chan on YouTube, Twitter, or on Discord at TrueDFS. Speaking of TrueDFS, this has this video has been sponsored is sponsored by TrueDFS. Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you uh, like videos about, if you want to see videos about other sports, um, I know True DFS uh, folks at you know folks at True DFS you know record and post a lot of videos where they share a lot of insights about, for example, MLB and uh, NHL and other sports like tennis and you know all that so all that good stuff so. Yeah, come check it out and yeah, good luck out there and have a good one. Bye.